Thank y'all for tuning back in to your favorite channel. Pelican Bay K9 is giving it to you the way I always do. Fair and unbiased. Some gonna like it, some ain't, man. Y'all hit that subscribe button if you haven't subscribed yet. Don't forget to hit them like, hit that like button. Don't forget to drop down in the comments as well to my brothers and sisters. Big salute to all the dog lovers from one side of the world to the other side of the world. From one side of the country to the other side of the country. It's your boy PBK9 is giving it to you that breaking and exclusive news. You know, the way nobody else can do it. The way nobody else can do it. It can't be copied. can't be imitated. It just got to be in you, man. Just got to be in you. It's your boy PBK9 is giving it to you. Raw and uncut, fair and unbiased, you know. So let's get into that dog talk and that dog news today. I want to start off by sending my shout outs to the brothers and sisters out here that rock with the bay. If you're rocking with the bay, you've been rocking with the bay for a while, keep rocking with the bay, the bay rocking back with you. You know, it just is what it is. Shout out to you, all the dog channels that's rocking with me. You know, I ain't got to call your names. If you is, you is. If you ain't, you ain't, you know. And, uh, now, Let's get this thing started. I'm trying to figure out, right? How can these brothers not expect to be getting caught up, getting jammed up? How can y'all brothers expect not to get jammed up when you you bring all your dirty business to Facebook? Now, you bring all your all the underground talk. You bring all the whatever's on the underground to Facebook. And these the same brothers that be out here every day acting like they so so uh got so much experience or doing this with dogs or doing that with dogs. You same brothers every day get on Facebook and bring underground talk to Facebook. So how can you not expect to be jammed up? How can you not expect to be in the situation y'all be in? How can you not expect to be on my news channel? Is what I'm trying to figure out. How can you not? Y'all move reckless. Y'all not that generation. Y'all are a different generation. Y'all a generation of wannabes. A generation of so bad wanting to be something so bad and, and it's just not going to happen. Y'all willing to take out anybody. You know, willing to down anybody. Just to prove that you got a quote unquote bulldog. <laughs> this, ain't that, this ain't them days no more. A lot of y'all just can't get that through your head and it's mad. You're mad because this isn't the days that you could do that in. But what I'm trying to figure out is why everybody always acting like we got all these morals and codes. And then when you look on Facebook, you see all the, all the news being spread out. Not my news. Not my kind of news, brothers and sisters. No. Uh-uh. Not my kind of news. We talking about News that shouldn't be heard about. Y'all up there talking about the Hulk. Y'all up there talking about the Hulk match. The Hulk match. The Hulk match. Listen. Why y'all talking about that type of stuff for? That's why y'all on Pelican Bay Dog News channel. And I'm not talking about the brothers who own it today or tomorrow. I'm talking about anybody in general. You know. That's why. That's the difference between my channel and the next channel. There's a lot of wannabes out here. A lot of wanna fit ins out here. I'm not a I'm not a want a to fit in brother, you know. That's not me. It's never going to be me. You know what I'm saying? At the end of the day, so I'm still trying to figure out why y'all bringing all the dog business to the youth to the Facebook. Y'all so-called people with morals, people with character, but y'all steady bringing everything to Facebook. Somewhere or another, we on different pages. Somewhere or another, y'all don't understand that the game is real. You know? Y'all gassed up off fantasy. And nobody can give me an answer to tell me why y'all talking about underground stuff, stuff that happened illegally on Facebook. The same way I said, who the hell started the, the, documenting illegal activities in the Sport and Dog Journal. Who the hell thought the Sport and Dog Journal was a great idea? A 
Oh, but y'all hold these people on high regards. Y'all hold all these people on high regards about this, about that, about this, about that. Can't explain to me yet why y'all talking about Hulk on Facebook. All y'all, y'all big time dog men that be up in them chats. Big time dog men that be up in them chats, man. But you just can't seem to give me an answer. Reckless, reckless, reckless on YouTube. You know what I'm saying? Reckless on YouTube. Reckless on Facebook. Checking my mic. You know? And like I said, I'm I'm convinced more and more every day. I'm convinced more and more every day that y'all really just don't know how deep the game is. You know what I'm saying? I'm still waiting on y'all to tell me. I've been waiting for the longest. Still waiting on y'all to tell me. And give me a dog since we always talking about pit bulls trained to bite, not being trained to bite. I'm still waiting on y'all to give me a picture or give me a dog incident that happened where a pit bull mauled somebody and it was a trained pit bull. Give me one incident that happened over the last three years, especially the ones that I reported, that happened with a pit bull. And the pit bull was a trained pit bull. A, and a, a trained pit bull like that, not a blue dog. You know? Can't do it, man. We can't do it, but we steady want to, oh, they're not made for this. They're not. Only thing y'all brothers are used to are walking in front of a damn camera with your dog on a leash. With your dog on a leash is all that you're used to. That's it. That's all. If we, if we leave the game up to y'all, that's all the pit bull is good for. Taking a picture of you got your dog stuck to another female dog or you just standing there holding your damn dog. That's all the pit bull is good for. At least y'all dogs. Mine got to do more than that. You know, mine got to do more than that. I got dog breaking, breaking dog news for y'all today. I'm talking about breaking dog news. I got uh, dog talk. We got it all. I'm going to show y'all why they mad at the baby. Why they can't do it like me. And why I do it natural. The things that they, 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 I don't know, man. I don't know. You know, I got, uh, like I said, I got a few topics to touch on. I'm going to say the first topic we're going to touch on is smartness. You know, uh, dog smartness. How smart these dogs are. Um, not understanding that these dogs adapt to their situations that they're in. So when we was talking about hog hunting. And can a dog go from hunting do dogs in the woods and go to the box. You know, my opinion and it's close to fact. What I'm telling you is dogs learn things. They adapt to certain things. So if you take a dog and you train him in the woods for his first six months, the first uh, year of his life. And you taking him hog hunting, he knows how to hog hunt. It's some things that he could do in that hog hunt that's not going to be acceptable in that box. So while you train him for hog hunting, he's going to use his same tactics for that hog that he was using for hog hunting when he go to that square. You know. Now on the other hand, when you when you raised one in the box and you decided you wanted to take him to the square later on down the line, that was a different story. He may not be. As used to the woods as some of the dogs who was raised up in the woods is. But he going to still hog hunt. You know. And he going to bring his box mentality to the woods. You don't think them dogs who who've been hog hunting half their life. Know how to dip and dodge and get away from certain things. You know. In a certain situation. That might be considered a turn. Or something that you might not want to do in a box because he learned how to survive in the woods. You know? So that's why I mean by these dogs' smartness. A lot of brothers do not even know how to um, evaluate a dog's smartness. How smart a dog is. You know? They only going by one or two shows that one or two matches they had their dog in. And saying, oh, my dog is this smarter. He ain't smarter. He is. Listen, man. Dog smartness can be evaluated on a whole nother level. You know, but it just is what it is. We only want to see things certain ways. We only want to see things one way. 
You know, like that ass kisser that I seen last night. The biggest ass kisser I ever seen in my life. That dude M1 on Summer Rock Kennel uh, channel. You know what I'm saying? M1, the biggest ass kisser and brown nose I ever seen in my life. Always talking, ain't going to do shit. You know what I'm saying? Make somebody proud, M1. Show somebody that you 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 through talking for once in your life. I can tell the way you talk. You're a good talker. You know, good talker, big dog. But like I said, you the biggest ass kisser and brown nose I ever seen in my life, boy. I don't dick ride. I don't brown nose. We got our own heroes over here. You know what I'm saying? Yo, like I told y'all brothers before, y'all heroes aren't our heroes. So don't get mad because. <laughs> We don't feel the same way about certain situations. You know what I'm saying? We don't feel the same way. A lot of y'all brothers still seeking rec A lot of y'all brothers still seeking to be validated by folk down in the chat. Y'all still seeking validation from brothers at the end of the day. <laughs> when I made my own dog game validated, I validated my own dog game during them days. And one another thing I'm getting tired of, you know, all y'all old school ass dog men lying, making up shit, bouncing from here to here. You know what I'm saying? Like I said before, you got something to say to Pelican Bay, please let it be known to me, not on another brother channel when you're trying to talk sideways about me. That's the difference between me, my channel, and the rest of these channels. Y'all get up here and you say, oh, we ain't going to say nobody, we ain't going to say his name. But everybody know who you're talking about. That's the difference between my channel and the next person's channel. If I fuck with you, I ain't going to let somebody get up there and talk about you. No. Uh-uh. We ain't built the same. You right. Y'all right. A lot, of us, a lot of our channels ain't built the same. And I don't mind proving it. You know, I don't mind proving it. It just is what it is, man. Uh, folk got to play the game the way the game is. And play the game 100. You got folk out here, like I said before, playing that victim role, getting up here crying, starting stuff with people. Then they running back in the crowd of folk that they hang with thinking you ain't going to say nothing to them. You know what I'm saying? Thinking you ain't going to say nothing to them. Like I said before, it don't take five people to get on my channel to get uh, um, 25 views. It don't take five people to get on my channel for 100 views. You know what I'm saying? It don't take it. One little old me bring the noise. And it's like I'm going to bring that dog news tonight that you want, that they can't give to you, that they mad and they trying to knock me off so they can start supplying it. But it is what it is. You're only going to get it one way, and that's the Bay way, baby. You like it, you like it, you don't, you don't. Some going to like it, some ain't. Holler at me when you see me. Stop all that tough talking y'all boys be doing. You know, stop all that talking. That shit only fly on the West Coast. I told y'all before. Look at your whole panel. Everybody that get up and talking trash about Pelican Bay. All y'all West Coast Bulldoggers. Rely, relying on Rasta Man Boom and Garcia. Damn, how many of y'all going to use them boys up? Started off with 7, 8 and all them. Y'all going to use them boys all up. By the time they get ready to want to do that shit, boy... Poor roster man ain't gonna have no kind of damn news, no kind of dog talk for his channel. And them boys gonna be done use all your credentials up by the time you got got ready to start your channel up. Always screaming your name when they get in trouble. Always screaming this, always screaming that. <laughs> it's all good, man. M1, just keep my name out your mouth. You know what I'm saying? I ain't the bitch. I ain't made like you, dog. You know what I'm saying? Tell him, tell him what you what you can talk about. Listen, one thing, that's why I tell y'all brothers, y'all, y'all are built different. You only talk behind the curtains. Many times, and I'm going to drop that link uh, when I drop this live, not this live, but the live video where I'm going to be live. I'm going to drop the link and I want to see who got something to say. You know, y'all ain't putting up numbers like that. So stop screaming my name when it come to that shit. Y'all don't put up numbers. It's, I mean, like, it is what it is, man. I just got to give it to you the way I got to give it to you. You know, give it to you the way I got to give it to you, man. Now, 
Starting off with that news, we got a Conway woman arrested because somebody called and said they seen a dog eating another dog in her yard. You know what I'm saying? So they came and locked up for animal cruelty. So y'all check this out. PBK9's giving it to you raw and uncut. Police say a call about a dog eating another dog led to this woman's arrest. Charity Fowler faces nine counts of ill treatment of animals. Police say back on October 24th, an officer found an extremely malnourished pit bull tied to a tree and puppies on the porch at a home on North Green Sea Road in the Loris area. Fowler was not home at the time, but a person told officers the dog was tied up because it attacked one of the puppies. The report says the officer didn't see any food or water for the dog, and police would seek a pickup order for the animals. Officers arrested Fowler this past Sunday. She's out of jail on a $4,500 bond. Now, I got a whole series that's about to drop, but I won't tell y'all brothers about it until I start dropping it because there's too many copycats out here. You know what I'm saying? Too many wannabes and not doing shit original, not staying original. One thing about it, if I rock with you, if Pelican Bay say he your friend, it don't matter who I'm around. I'm still going to speak to you. It don't matter who I'm around. I'm still going to give you the same props I would give you if, if they weren't around. See, that's what y'all brothers got to start paying attention to. When you see brothers who won't treat you the same around certain people because them folk around, it's because they done talked about you already on the back streets. You know what I'm saying? It ain't hard to tell, man. At the end of the day, all I can do is be me. All I can do is give the dog talk and the dog news the way I do it, the way other people can't do it. You know what I'm saying? Like I said before, y'all keep talking about them pedigrees y'all lying about all the damn time. Y'all keep bigging up Michael Myers and bigging up all the... all. Like I said before, y'all keep wanting to look over the fact that none of y'all got experience, the same much experience as that dude pro down there. You know, Stephen A's is cool. It's cool to be Stephen A in the dog game. But stay in your lane because brothers like to get stuff from players. Brothers like to get news. Brothers like to get dog stuff from the old players. And then Eli Monster didn't want to get up there and start a narrative. I don't like white people because I'm speaking on black talk. Listen, Eli, if you're not black, you don't understand what I'm about to tell, brothers. You know, this is to black folk. You know, when I say this, they only want to hear shit out of white people mouth. If it ain't coming out certain white people mouth, it ain't golden to them. You don't understand that, Eli, because you're not black. So don't get in the conversation or don't get in the comment when I'm talking about something and try to switch it about, oh, I don't like white people. Man, listen here, man. Listen here. Like I said before, Eli, that's why Fat Bill treats you the way you feel, and that's why I'm saying what I want to say because y'all brothers, y'all what I call try to fit in, folk. Y'all want to fit in. And each time y'all try to want to fit in, it shows the lack of what y'all be bragging so much about that y'all had back in the days. It shows how much y'all really lack bulldog game that y'all was claiming that y'all was in. You know? Because all the people who really bulldog, <laughs> none of them be switching up like that. Only the ones who never really bulldog. They got to jump dick to dick, click to click, switch, switch how they got to switch. But it is what it is, man. It is what it is. All I can do is keep doing the way I always do, like I say, man. Keep bringing that magic. You know what I'm saying? Bringing it the way they can't do it. And like I said, I got that news tonight. We got two dog busts, one in Alabama and one upstate. They can't do it like the Bay. They want to do it like the Bay. They, and then the thing about it, this ain't meant for some of y'all because some of y'all wasn't in the dog game so you wouldn't understand the value of this news you know some of y'all was bully breeders you know jumping into the pit bull game trying to talk about this talk about that and you're, you're not even on that level man you don't understand the news value that I bring to the table when it comes to certain things and like I said before I can care less whether you like it or not keep fucking up and you'll be on the channel you know it just is what it is. You fuck up, you'll be on the channel. I ain't taking no more prisoners. You know what I'm saying? I'm doing my thing. Because at the end of the day, I'm getting views. A lot of y'all that scream my name ain't getting shit. I look at y'all get five or six people on y'all panel. And then when your video done, you got damn um, 200 damn views. As a, uh, man, listen here, man. Listen here. Listen here. Stop mentioning Pelican Bay name because y'all ain't got that it factor. 
Y'all don't know how to bring it to the table. Yeah, everybody got dogs, but everybody ain't got it. That's why everybody dogs never make it to that level. And one thing I'm tired of doing, I'm tired of listening to y'all boys talk about dogs and they ain't showing shit. All you want to do is show a dog in a damn kill them crate, show a dog on a treadmill, show me a dog doing something else outside of that. You know? Show your real interactions with these dogs on a daily basis. M1, Mr. <laughs> Mister, we all know you ain't going to do shit, none of that gangster stuff you talking about. M1, like I said before, that dude M1 has got to be the biggest ass kisser brown nose I've ever seen in my damn life. You know what I'm saying? Biggest one. I know your girl told you you're an ass kisser and a brown noser. Uncle Tom is what we call him. You know, Uncle Tom, Uncle Sam. That's what Thompson was trying to use that name. No, um, Thompson. Uncle Sam is what M1 is. A motherfucker who changed up his voice when he talked to certain people. You talk to certain people, now you want to change your voice and start acting like a whole different kind of person. Be yourself the same person you was before you met that person. <laughs> yeah, we on different levels, dog. We on different, we on entirely different levels. You know what I'm saying? Like I said before, I'm going to give you that news. Let's get into it. Alabama dog fight, federal dog fight charges, 70-some dogs took. You know what I'm saying? 70-some dogs took. A lot of y'all won't understand that news. So go to sleep and think about it. You know what I'm saying? Go to sleep and think about it. You wouldn't understand it. Everybody got something to say. <laughs> Alabama, federal dog fighting charges. Computer voice. Y'all check it out because we're going to get into this, this next dog fighting stuff. You know what I'm saying? This is stuff they don't want me to talk about. They saying, oh, I might don't need to talk about this. I might don't need to talk about this. But we need to let Buck City get up here and, and, and let his hot ass get all y'all indicted. You know what I'm saying? But it's all good. PBK9s, Alabama dog fight bus. Then we're going to jump into the other one right after that. Let's get into it. Birmingham, Arla, WIAT, an Alabama man was arrested on charges of illegally possessing dogs for fighting purposes and illegally possessing three firearms subsequent to a felony conviction. According to the U.S. Department of Justice, Carlton Adams, 51, of Bessemer and Adger, maintained a stock of 78 fighting dogs at three properties. Two were in Bessemer and one in Adger, and all dogs were rescued by federal authorities. Authorities also said they recovered tools and supplies used in the training and keeping of dogs used for fighting. The tools included modified treadmills to hold dogs in place for dog fight conditioning, injectable veterinary steroids, suture materials and syringes, skin staplers, and a homemade breeding stand used to immobilize female dogs who are too aggressive to mate naturally. Authorities stated they discovered a brake stick device used to break the bite hold of a dog during specified intervals in a dog fight. Adams also allegedly had two pistols and a semi-automatic shotgun known as a street sweeper. The dogs were rescued by a program administered by the U.S. Marshals Service. If convicted, Adams faces a maximum penalty of up to 15 years in prison and a $250,000 fine on each firearms charge. He also faces a maximum penalty of five years in prison and a $250,000 fine per count of animal fighting charges. Now, now that's the Alabama news. You know what I'm saying? That's the Alabama news. Let's go up north to South Jersey. We, we all call them uh, Raw Bull. <laughs> word, in the, word in the news, Raw Bull has been raided. You know, I'm going to give you the dog news. I'm going to give you the dog news, but like I tell y'all before, we got the biggest dog bus says Michael Vick. Biggest dog bus says Michael Vick, and he running around here on these YouTube channels on probation, talking reckless, talking reckless, talking reckless, and y'all telling me <laughs> over the last three years, a lot of the biggest kennels went down. Okay. <laughs> y'all telling me they can deliver that news the way I deliver that news. Oh, raw bull. Dogs confiscated. People on the run. You know, people on the run. But y'all don't want that dog talk. Y'all want all that bullshit that the mother boy is talking about. Y'all don't want that. That's why y'all rocking with me right now. That's why y'all watching my channel right now. Because I know what y'all want. 
And I'm going to give it to you like you want it. You know what I'm saying? Like you want it. I can't help. Like I said before, I'm going to make some haters. And that's what I, I, I want to make a whole lot more haters. I don't got enough haters. You know what I'm saying? I need a whole lot more. So I'm going to go harder. Because I know they hate when I go hard. They hate when I bring the trained dogs out. They hate when I bring the dogs that look good out. They have all kind of shit to say, but none of them can show anything. You know what I'm saying? None of them. I'm just going to make them keep hating. But like I said, dog fighting bus. I do it the way they can't do it. Some going to like it, some ain't. You know what I'm saying? Some going to like it, some ain't. Y'all always asking about them Glen dogs, punk dogs, and all that other stuff. Well, you got you some real dog news now. You know, but this ain't the news y'all want. Y'all want to be pacified and baby like that boy M1. Like the boy M1. And like I said, salute to that brother last night that was up there on the panel. That after I left, that he understood what I was talking about. That was talking with um, some Ryan, the brother. You know, uh, listen, man. These brothers be getting in situations, then running back to their crew, acting like they ain't did nothing. Acting like they ain't did nothing. Crying and and, and, and and acting like the victim and this and that. And man, listen here, man. Listen here. Pelican Bay give it to you. Pelican Bay do what they can't do. You know what I'm saying? Like I said before. M1, he's an easy smack up. You know what I'm saying? An easy smack up. You know. We ain't worried about doing no smacking up though. We just going to keep talking. And make you have to do the smacking up. You say you're going to smack up, you smack up, M1. I ain't got to disrespect you. I done said it already. You know how I feel. You was the biggest brown nose or ass kiss I ever seen in my damn life. You know? And I know your old lady tell you that. I know your old lady tell you that. It's all good, though, man. It's all good. Like I said before, when y'all brothers start mentioning views, Mentioning, mentioning y'all name about views. Start looking at y'all channel and look at my channel. Look at the viewers. Look at all that shit compared to what you doing. And then ask yourself, do I got to mention anything about you? You know, ask yourself that. And it's funny how folk get me up there to talk and then won't let me say nothing, right? But then let let these other brothers talk subliminal about me and, and won't let me respond. That's why I said what I said. You know, at the end of the day, I'm staying in my own lane, doing my own thing. And if you don't want to wind up on the news, keep your ass out the news. Simple as that. You know what I'm saying? If you want to do something about it, don't talk to me about it. Do something about it. You know what I'm saying? It just is what it is, man. Is what it is. Y'all West Coast washed up ass niggas got, got to stop talking me to death, man. Y'all got to stop talking me to death. Every other day it's another one of y'all motherfuckers. Every other day it's another one. Another one. Another one, man. Big salute to my real West Coast Bulldoggers. You know, and one thing about it, like I said before, my channel made for the world. Dog channel. Dog channel made for this continent. Asia, Europe. I got dog brothers all over. I'm not just rocking for no damn Texas. I'm not just rocking for no damn Arizona, no California, no damn Nevada. No None of that shit. I'm rocking for not no South Carolina, no North Carolina. I'm rocking for the everybody. You know what I'm saying? Everybody. Definitely ain't my fault. Definitely ain't my problem. I ain't worried about what you got going on. I ain't I ain't caring about if you're liking what I'm saying. I'm going to keep doing my thing, keep pushing like I always say, man. Word began to spread Wednesday afternoon on social media about some sort of raid happening on Route 49 in Cumberland County. Several people on Facebook mentioned the long lines on both sides of the road in Maurice River Township of law enforcement vehicles. Some cars were marked, many were unmarked. 6 ABC is reporting that some sort of raid took place on the property, although officials aren't commenting about exactly what happened. The property is on Route 49 and Hestown Road. While 6 ABC was on the scene, they observed several dogs being taken away by Humane Society team members. Was this a crackdown on a dog fighting operation, or was it something more? Again, as of yet, no one is on record with an explanation. Yeah, yeah, I bet y'all heard that though, didn't it? 
I bet y'all heard that, and I bet y'all done heard all other kind of stuff in the back streets already before I even dropped this news. You know what I'm saying? All the kind of stuff already. Now let me ask y'all this. Before I start dropping this news, when was that even on your mind? Now let me ask you this. Look at all the other stuff that y'all get from these other channels. What what can you add to your what can you add off this other channel to your program to keep you going day to day? <laughs> you better holler at the bay, man. You better holler at the bay. I ain't looking for friends. And I'ma treat my friends just like how I treated them when yesterday. When we when we wasn't around nobody. You know what I'm saying? I ain't gonna treat you different because we around Brother Fat Bill, J Bo, and all the rest of the boys. I ain't gonna treat you different because we around the rest of the boys. You know what I'm saying? No, 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 you know the old, older doggers. You know we around Garcia and all them. I ain't gonna treat you different. Or we around uh, uh, Brother Boone. Or, I ain't gonna treat you different. If I fuck with you today, I fuck with you tomorrow. <laughs> yeah, that's the difference, man. Y'all boys can't even, and you ain't got no bulldog credentials to put up on it. Like I said before, man, certified ass kissers, certified snakes. At the end of the day, and then you wonder why. Like I said, I, I'm, I'm staying in my own lane. First time, I, digital. when they came to that digital dog show, going hard attacked me for no reason. You know what I'm saying? Just attacked me out of the blue for no reason. Now, look at you. Look at look at all different kind of brothers. It's not, that dog game is built on nothing but hate, man. I don't want to be around y'all. I'm only talking to my brothers right now and my sisters right now from one side of the world to the other side of the world, from one side of the country to the other side of the country that's rocking with me, that's thinking the way I'm thinking. You know what I'm saying? That ain't keeping their dogs tied up in shit all the time. That ain't making up shit. That ain't making up lies. Y'all y'all, y'all bigging up Michael Myers and talking about how he producing such great dogs and you can't get the man to tell you one story about him. But y'all y'all will sit back and let this man rag another man. Y'all, like I told y'all before, y'all need a bunch of women around y'all. Y'all need submissive folk. You know what I'm saying? Y'all need women around y'all, not bulldoggers. We don't take bulldoggers, to, I mean women, to the box. You know what I'm saying? We leave the women at home, we go to the box back in my days. You know what I'm saying? Y'all y'all to take the women to the box type motherfuckers. We different, dog. We built different. Like I told y'all before, tell your girl everything. We different. We want to talk about everything. We're going to talk about a whole nother subject in our relationship that we can talk about everything. When you come to these pit bulls, you ain't going to know everything. A lot of y'all need submissive folk to talk to. Y'all need women to talk to. Y'all got women emotions. And when, when one brother get up in and tell you uh, his opinion, they ain't going to sit there and, and go for any damn thing. You know what I'm saying? Like I said before, I made my channel. I got my views. I didn't need to bring another man in to get views. So at the end of the day, I'm not going to hesitate on what I'm going to say. A lot of y'all brothers, y'all can't say what y'all want to say because you didn't make your channel. You relying on seven to eight motherfuckers to make your channel. And like I said before, seven to eight and the boys is bully breeders. Who gives a fuck about what they talking about? Take all the people off their channel that you trying to put here, put there. Bully breeders. You know what I'm saying? At the end of the day. <laughs> You don't like it, you don't like it, get the hell off my channel and stay the hell on. You know what I'm saying? Hear me, James. You got a problem with me? Holler at me. Don't get on Summerai channel and talk about me. Don't get on the next person channel and say what kind of ways I got. Tell me what kind of ways I got. You know what I'm saying? You know, at the end of the day, that's, that's why I tell y'all brothers, man. We different. I don't, need, I don't need the next person to talk about a person so I can get up there and talk about them. I don't need somebody to say, oh, Hemi James ain't this or Hemi James ain't that so I can get up there and say, fuck Hemi James. I don't need that. That's what y'all brothers need. Y'all y'all wait till other brothers get to start to talk and talking and then y'all get down and start talking y'all a little. Listen here, man. Y'all stay where y'all at, doing what y'all doing, and I'm going to keep doing what I'm doing, excelling on the level I'm just going on. You know what I'm saying? One thing about it, like I always say, you can't fake this shit. You got to really be about this shit, you know? Dog fight, South Jersey. <laughs> Why they mad at the bay? It ain't my fault. Get your dog game up. Get your content game up. Let's get into it. Well, authorities raided a house today in South Jersey. Both the Humane Society and law enforcement were there and removed several dogs from the Cumberland County home. Action News reporter John Paul live in Morris River Township with the details tonight. John. 
Yeah, Rick, this is an expansive crime scene. I'm going to step out of the way. We're going to push in just a little bit because we've been watching as that group of investigators have been loading uh, crates with animals onto that white truck. We've also seen them carrying out other types of evidence. We've seen multiple dogs being brought out of from this property here. As you mentioned, the Humane Society is here, but there's also federal investigators and law enforcement from all over the country. But Rick, at this point, they're not saying anything. We watched as workers with the Humane Society's Animal Rescue and Response Team carry dog after dog out from behind this home at the corner of Route 49 and Hestown Road near Millville. We even saw Humane Society workers with cameras documenting these animals as they were being carried out. One worker seemed overwhelmed with emotion as another coworker comforts them. Behind the home, we saw dozens of animal cages lined up on the ground as agents investigated a trailer parked on the property. The streets were lined with law enforcement officials from all over the country, including Ohio, Connecticut, Washington, D.C. We also saw federal agents and the USDA, but no one is talking. The property itself is mostly fenced in and has large buildings, trailers, and an RV all being inspected. There are also large yellow no trespassing signs posted every few feet, but no sign of an owner. Now, there was also another law enforcement presence about a quarter mile down the road. What you're looking at by that gas station, that white box truck had emergency lights on it as well. They were loading things into that truck throughout the afternoon. Now, I did go talk to some neighbors. Neighbors tell me they know the owner who lives here. They say he's been in trouble with the law in the past, but they didn't want to say much more than that. We also saw the Red Cross here on scene. But again, Rick, at this point, law enforcement officials are not saying anything. We're live tonight in Morris River Township. John Paul, Channel 6 Action News. Rick. All right, John, thank you. The one y'all, boy, y'all boys should be tired of passing Boom and Garcia around, ain't it? Y'all done passed them around every damn dog, channel. Every damn dog channel. <laughs> damn, boy. And, and, and popping shit when y'all get them on the channel. Like, nobody ain't gonna see nothing about y'all because they're they on the channel. All right. Like I told y'all before, I'm gonna give you that news. I'm gonna give you that dog talk. And they, they, they talking about shit that don't matter. Tell me which one of them that gave y'all a dog show in the past week. Who gave y'all a show in the past week that mattered like this information I just gave y'all about Raw Bull? Okay. Okay. And you got a motherfucker, the hottest motherfucker in the United States on probation with dog, got busted for dogs, running around here on the damn YouTube channel, setting every, I, I ain't going to say nothing, man. It's all good. Y'all stay in y'all lane, I'm going to stay in my lane. Y'all get the, y'all get that attention that y'all get, I'm going to get the attention I get. You know what I'm saying? And we just going to do it like that. You know, that's all it is to it, man. Uh, at the end of the day, one thing about it, like I said, it all boils down to I ain't going to let nobody choose my friends. I ain't going to let nobody make me act different when I'm around them. When I see you, we don't rock like that. You know what I'm saying? PBK9s. Y'all tune in to the interviews that I drop. You know what I'm saying? I got lower man kennels. Um, great interview and like I said the mic was popping you know what I'm saying um, it may pop a little bit right about now I gotta go back in there and do some adjustments you know what I'm saying but big salute to all the brothers and sisters that have been rocking with me man at the end of the day it's a grind these brothers don't understand what it is they get out here and they, they scream your name want to be like you but they can't put in that work and bring it to the table what you bring to the table you know like I said before <laughs> I don't need 10 people to get down um, 50 fucking views You know I don't need it But holler at me when y'all ready to holler PBK9s Standing on top It's lonely up this bitch Holler at me <laughs>